Taurus, welcome to your special winter solstice reads for love, romance, and relationships. A good general read for that. Mid-December 2, and here we are. I'm going to show the bottom of the deck here because we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And I have to see that first. And I think that kind of tells the story. And I, I think you have here, Taurus, a pretty straightforward uh, reading. Thank you, Spirit. You know, we're not here to be tricky. <laughs> It's, uh, we want to find out what Bear can say. In the name of love and light, says there's the greatest good only that is helpful somehow to Taurus. If you're watching this, uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus energies, I should mention at Taurus. But I believe this is a person coming in, this Knight of Cups, uh, likely a water sign person. Um, and when you show up in the King of Cups energy, I believe you're very emotional about this person. Um, they really, I think this is a classic Knight of Cups, and I um, don't normally say this, but the player energy, you know, it can be the Knight of Wands too, but this is the Knight of Cups, because it's going with you coming in as a King of Cups, so, they literally played your emotions, and I mean, really, uh, well, a lot, I mean, it, I think you might see this, maybe not, but what's blocking you is the Eight of Swords, and this Eight of Swords, you know, look at the colors here, too. And these three cards, this is your advice from Spirit. If you know anything about Tarot, well, you know, I don't even hardly need to continue. But um, you also have this progression here going with the advice from the Six of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles. So you may be aware, you may not, um, of emotionally um, how disappointed you are in this person's probably the way they've been treating you uh, because they played you. And, you know, it's it's worse to me. It's This is how it's worse. It's worse than the Knight of Wands. Because with the Knight of Wands, if you're adults, you know, which obviously that's a prerequisite, uh, you, you kind of know what you're getting. You know, they're coming in, they're like baby, baby, and, you know, um, and we're all adults here, and that's fine. But it's almost like with this Knight of Cups, I just get the feeling it could be someone kind of a little bit being a, emotionally kind of sucking you in and then um, using you in some way and that's kind of the energy of the king of cups i'm seeing here too um, it's like you've been activated and then played um, and if this is in the blocking position eight of swords really what it's saying is that you just kind of need to accept the fact that you've been played it's like you if you're not accepting it it's to protect yourself you're like king of cups you're like are you kidding me? I'm the king I, of emotions. I, I understand emotions. I'm mostly intelligent. I'm, a, I'm a mo capable of being emotionally involved, uh, vulnerable. Um, I'm mostly understanding and aware. But no, we all get played, you know. This could be, you know, maybe you're a Taurus and you're an empath or something or light worker or psychic. And, you know, it's worse for us when you get nailed and you're then you're really like kicking yourself going, how could I not have seen this? But this is not seeing something. Especially in the blocking position. Now, advice from spirit couldn't be any more, um, any easier here to follow. Six of swords energy. Get that in, in focus. So, moving away uh, into the reading, okay? Moving away from the beginning of the reading and onward. So, clearly advice from spirit is like, just move. And yes, mentally move on. But I think this is just physically move on. And the outcome is like, after you move on, you're going to be counting like what it what the cost was what the physical cost was almost the uh, practical cost was so this comes um with the eight of swords um what you out for when you once you move away from this and get some separation then uh um it's uh you know you you uh be able to look at it objectively this is really looking at it objectively and um so um, let me know what you think of this, guys. I appreciate any input you can give me back. Uh, leave a comment. Um, thank you.